What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Gordon Petty Fishing. I'm Gordon. I appreciate you tuning in. Today I've got a short video on a fairly new product that Ice Hole Power has come out with. This is a boat power box uh, that you can use for your live sonar. A lot of people are going to a standalone uh, lithium battery uh, to power their units. I made a video uh, after I got my live scope on the setup and I used their deluxe version of the box. You can go back, I'll leave a link in the description uh, and you can go back and watch that video if you want to. It goes through my complete setup for the live scope system. They have come up with a simple uh, boat box here to put your lithium battery in, uh, whatever size you choose to put in it. Uh, you simply put this in your boat. It's already wired up, ready to go. And it's all you need to power your live sonar with, no matter what brand uh, you're using. Guys, this is a sponsored video. They sent me this box and wanted me to do a quick video uh, on this product. I'll give you a quick breakdown and show you what all is included in this box. And all you have to do to get set up and use it for your live sonar. Guys, this is exactly what the box will look like when you when you receive it. It's got two power switches on the top of the box. Everything comes wired and ready to go. This is what's inside the box. Give you an extra switch here just in case. What's neat about this box is there are two separate SAE ports. Uh, that's why there's two different power plugs here. Uh, each one of these power plugs will go to the SAE port here. Uh, one of them you can wire directly to your black box. And the other one you can wire directly to the power cord coming off of your unit. That way there's no guesswork of how you need to splice the uh, power cords together. Each one will have their own separate power cord. And you just plug these power cords into the SAE port. And of course, you can decide what size battery you'll use in this box. This box is designed for the 30 AH battery to fit perfectly in it. There are other size batteries that you can order uh, to go along with it. You can just decide what what amp hour battery will suit your needs. Guys, you'll notice on the inside of the box here there are Velcro straps. And I've already used this battery in my other box, so I've already got the Velcro on it. But all you'll do place the, the battery down in the box and the velcro keeps the box, uh, battery from bouncing around and it keeps it secure inside the box. It's already hooked up and everything is ready to go. So all I did there was hook it up. It's already got an inline fuse. It's in it and ready to go. I believe that is a 10 amp fuse. And I've got it down and secured. Now all you do is, of course I already had one of the, those are the power buttons. And they light up when they're on. And then what I'll do, I'm gonna hook these up, one of them to my unit. One of them to my black box. And then I'll plug them in and show you what that looks like afterwards. It's a pretty simple process. Guys, these power cord kits comes with everything that you'll need to 
power it up. It comes with a power cord here that has the inline fuse. It comes with the fuses that you might need. Uh, it also comes with these connectors for splicing your wires together. Now I'm going to hook all of my power cords up and show you what it looks like inside my boat compartment. Alright guys, I got my plug wires hooked up to my power. I already had one hooked up where I used my previous box. Get out of my shadow here. That one right there goes to my unit up front. I just reused the plug that I already had on it. You can see the fuse on it right there. And then all I did was hook up this extra power plug and I hooked it to my black box right here. Guys, with my previous video, that was one of the most asked questions that I had was how did you splice the the power wire and the black box wire together and this right here eliminates you having to do that with those two separate SAE ports you just use a plug for each one going to your unit and your black box and it makes it so much more simple each has their own power plug guys one other thing I wanted to show you here is how simple it is to charge your battery up inside the box. You don't have to take it out. You don't have to plug anything up to the terminals. You just use one of the SAE ports. You can use either one that you want. As you can see, I've got my charger hooked up there. I'm just gonna plug the, the charger in. And as you can see, it's on green. That means it's not charging, but I don't have the power on. You have to have the power switch on. And as you'll see here, when I turn this power switch on, that green light is gonna go to red on the charger. And as you see there, it went to red and it is now charging. And you just do that through the SAE port. Well, there you have it, guys. And all you need, power box for your live sonar needs. I'm going to leave a, a link in the description uh, where you can get this power box. Uh, it'll take you directly to it. I'm also going to leave a link in the description for my previous video that I did uh, when I put together this, this deluxe kit and I used it to power my, uh, my live scope. They come already pre-made, ready to go, or you can do like I did and build it, build it with the kit uh, yourself. Guys, check out iceholepower.com for all your powering needs, uh, whatever you might need to get to get set up. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I hope this video helps you out tremendously. I hope to see you guys on the water, and let's do it again next time. See ya.